Someone in chat said, do people unironically defend EA not just for the sake of being contrarian? I'd, I'd imagine so. There's a, there's a person for everything. EA Games. This... fuck. Yeah, because when you see the, the letters at the bottom there, um, alongside your favorite game, sometimes you associate those letters with good feelings, so you might want to defend them. But uh, I'm playing this because Respawn makes good games, and not because I like EA necessarily. It's just a means to an end. Um, but, you know... <clears throat> I'm at the point now where... Where... I just don't care anymore. I hope you don't mind. I have to do some... I will turn motion blur off. I have to do some video fuckery here. Nice easy menus. I will say that. That's been nice. Some games I have to struggle with the menus just to get them to fucking work. So thank you for that. Wow, that was quick. <laughs> so quick. Outer Worlds was a fucking nightmare. Um, story mode. I'm gonna do Jedi Master. Players who are familiar with melee action games and desire a challenge. Yeah, yeah, let's do Jedi Master. So again, the game just came out, for anyone watching on the Full Sauce channel, the game just came out like an hour and a half ago, two hours ago. Apparently, um, it's good. But I'm gonna find out now. We're all gonna find out. I have no idea how good it's actually gonna be. I'm just in the mood for something quality. I like these melee combat games, and I like Star Wars. So it's stuttering a little bit. What the fuck is this? What? Is this that jizz I've heard so much about? Set your rhythm, Cal, but the boss wants a word. I will enable subtitles as soon as I can. Here he is, Chief. An error has been detected on line 10A. Polar clamps are jammed. I need two workers to climb up and secure the cables. That's not an easy maneuver. The Cal will double your pay for this shift. Come on, Cal. Well, it's a score. That couldn't hurt. Wow, that alien mouth looked okay. pretty good moving. All right, let's go. That, that was surprising how good that alien mouth moved. I'm right behind you. Um, well, one thing I, I found a little weird about this game is sometimes it looks like, just from the videos I've seen of it, sometimes it looks really nice and sometimes it looks like janky. Um, the cursor is at the top right. Uh, there's some, like, there's some ass in the game. But, um... Like, the animations are gonna be a little weird, I think. But regardless, I'm, I'm still willing to give it a chance, and...
Booty, please play the different game. Now these um these stutters, I have to wonder, are they on my end or are they the game's optimization? Both. Vinny, do you have the latest driver? Oh, I don't, actually. It wanted to install, and I, I neglected to install it. Hang on, it's a great idea to install a driver while you're playing the game, right? Download. It's specifically for Jedi Fallen Order. Let's see what kind of saving this game has. Uh, I think, well, I'll get to a, a, a save point. Don't worry about it. I don't think these tools are going to make it through the shift. Uh, you say that every time. Disable the film grain? I kind of like the film grain. Hang on a minute. Dina now eat the caca, eat my penis. It kills the bit rate? Okay. I'll turn it off for you. Will you look at that. Separatist ship. I haven't seen the Luke or Hulk in ages. Yeah. Ages. Wait, when does this game even fucking take place? That's one of the donuts that Anakin destroyed. Yippee! All right, let's go. This takes place between episode three and four. I guess that makes sense. That, yeah, of course that, yeah. This is when the Jedi were getting hunted down, yeah. High CPU usage usage detected again. Hey, you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Ladder's out though. You're gonna have to find another way. Yeah, no problem. I'll improvise. See you there, pal. Is his name Prawl? Like Paul with an R? You are not approved, trash. And trash, just not approved trash. Yeah, there's some weird animations that do do not seem very natural. But whoa, did motion blur get turned back on? Hang on a minute. That was a weird. When I hit a save point, I'm gonna do the driver update. Sorry, everybody. I know live troubleshooting sucks. I mean, it definitely captures the feel of Star Wars pretty nice. Hang on a minute. You, you really feel like John Star Wars. Easy there. Just passing through. Man, I, I really hope this is a good game. You know, I, I just, I, I really... I really want a good Star Wars single player game. Just about taste the credits. It's a Rodian chat. He definitely shoots first.
Hey, I, I want to do another change to um, Star Wars. I'm sorry, who are you? You Are you a homeless man? No, 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 I'm George Lucas, creator of Star Wars. I'd like to edit Greedo so that he says something before he uh, Han shoots him. Good to see you. You too. Don't get yourself killed. That's the idea. This is a good uh, Red Letter Media podcast on bunny ears with Macaulay Culkin. They talked about Star Wars for a bit. Star Trek for a lot. Ghost Adventures for even more. It was like, perfect. I'm not gonna do the full bit from George Lucas, because I, I did the bit the other day. Where, uh, Greedo insults Han's mom. But in a different language. Was that a gunk? Was that a gunk droid? Hang on, just a motherfucking minute. I see some womp rats in the tubes. Oh, gunk. The Mandalorian had a gunk as well. Gunk. Gunk. Looks like they had a pretty big budget for this, as they should. They got fucking Star Wars money. Sounds like scrap rats. Creepy. Just passing through, guys. No need to come out and say hi this time. I clapped! I saw a gonk! Hey, Cal. I'll meet you at the clamps. Sounds good. Be there soon. Whoa. Maybe if The Mandalorian ends up being a good series, and it is pretty good. Episode 1 I saw was, was pretty good. It'll prove that Star Wars should maybe just, like, it really should take a break from movies for a while. Um... I don't, um... Episode, uh, jump to the left. I mean, they're doing an Obi-Wan series, which is good, which is good. Ewan McGregor, Obi-Wan, hell yeah. That sounds fantastic. And not just one movie, either. How'd you get here? How'd you get here? Huh? The Mandalorian also confirms Life Day from the Star Wars Holiday Special as being canon. Lumpy, itchy, scratchy, they're all real. They're real. All of it. Look! The ship cutter is here! There it goes! Wow. Hey, we should get moving. Yeah, Those are some fucking out. graphics right there. Does every cinematic story game need excessive amounts of climbing? <laughs> yeah, that's- that's the past, like, decade of video games, just climbing. I don't mind so much. Oh, this is disgusting. Yeah, Sekiro. I mean, Breath of the Wild, Nathan Draken. Womb Raider. Hurry, we gotta finish before they start cutting this wing. 
Again, this game can really look fantastic. Aside from some of the, the jet. Look at that. Look at that. Why are they doing their operation over that fucking thing? It's like a, a Sarlacc maw times a thousand. Yeah. Also. Use the manual override level oh, his below. name is Prof, not Prawl. Um, this is like a very unsafe work envir environment. I just want to say. Leave this. This is so. This is fucked. I hope he's getting paid well. You okay? Still here. Give me a fright there, pal. Done. Hang on. I got this. We're done. Get out up here. Come take a look at this. It's a Jedi fighter. His face. A score. It's a real scrapper's face. The main character's face is very, like, Gumby. He's been here, what, four years? Five. <laughs> Whoever flew this went down in a blaze of glory. Those Jedi. A real tragedy. Yeah, I've always said they couldn't all be traitors. Like his jaw just gets, like, very yeah, slack maybe. every now and then. <laughs> If he grew, you know, if he grew a little bit of a beard, he might look like me. Gonna get a lot of good material out of it. Yeah, here we are, scrapping these ships from the war, just so they can turn around and make new ones. The racket, huh? All of us risking our necks for the bosses. And the pay was better back during the Republic, too. Hey, you really should watch what you say. Listen to me. Find us feel like this? Could be your ticket off this soggy The one. alien I'm talking about, chat. What makes you think I want out of here? <laughs> Come on, Cal, you're a young guy. You don't end up like me. Eventually, you gotta move on and live your life. Find your destiny. So it's Star Wars. Uh, we've already heard destiny. Already massive action set pieces. I feel like Tom Cruise in a fucking Mission Impossible movie. Bro, you okay? No! I, I can't climb up! Bro, just hang on! It's my... No, don't let go! I, I can't hold on! Bro! No! Press RB to use the force. I'll get us out of here. Just hang on. Watch out, Cal! Look out! This thing is barely flying. Hold on! You alright? Yeah. It's all right. His legs are made of metal, anyway. Maybe. Hell happened. What was that back there? It's just big metal boots, maybe. That was the force, wasn't it? Just forget what you saw, okay? Please trust me. I've seen them. I've I've seen the stories. I've heard it. The bounties out on people like you. I know. Yeah, we're ready. We need to be careful. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Jedi are bad, remember? The Empire said so. 
Fucking, this is one of the younglings that got out of the, the it, he jumped through a fucking vent as Anakin Blanakin was about to panic in his ass. Gonk. You holding up okay? Good. Yeah, you? Yeah. Kel. I've been working with you some time now. I've never seen you do anything like that before. <laughs> We've been through some hell together. <laughs> the textures on this alien's face are amazing. I know the risk that you took for me. I just... I don't know how to repay you. Don't mention it. I mean it. Oh, you don't have to worry about me. This place... It's not safe. Maybe you should, you know, disappear. Just gotta head back to my place, grab my bag. Tapper owes me a favor. I heard he was up on the uh, Narshada. Yeah. Isn't Narshada? Where's that? What is that? Is that where the huts are, or is that Nal Narhada? Yeah, okay. Why do I know that? Narshada. It's a hut moon. It's a hut world. Knights of the Old Republic. Didn't play that. I think I just read it. Because I read a bunch of Star Wars novels back in the day. <laughs> Narshada is Nalhada's moon. Oh my god. That, that's just like... My memory's so shit, but somehow my memory banks and my neurons fire when I hear a Star Wars word. What the hell? Oh, it's in Jedi Outcast as well. That makes sense. That's probably where I heard it. Has the game saved yet, chat? Can I, like, install my drivers and come back to this? I saw a thing on the bottom right. Yeah. Alright. Let me get my drivers going because I want to see this game. I'm enjoying this so far just from an, um, a pr the perspective of, like... Is he seriously one of the younglings? No, I, I enjoy this so far just because it, it's like capturing the Star Wars thing pretty nicely. Um, but if it's going to stutter a bit, I'd like to install them at Adam drivers. Vin, you should lower settings if it still stutters. Yes, I'm... Uh, I, I... Yes. It'll probably still stutter. Prof? Watch Prof uh, having had a taste of a real Jedi have reported me for the Quatlus. Prof, wait up. If the audio is wobbly, just restart your uh, Twitch page. Just refresh. Prawl? Prawl? Yo, what the fuck? I don't even think Prawl could get me on a Star Destroyer. This is kind of awesome. Apprentice, mark well and listen. Master. Trust only in the Force. Train has stopped. Yeah. Something's going on. <gasps> oh, Everybody shit. Up. Identification ready. These guys are dangerous. They... Move out and line up. They shoot with zero accuracy. Contraband inspection. Oh, 
Oh shit, Scum Troopers. The upgraded version. That kind of looks like Kylo Ren's ship, but this isn't even close to then. That's one of them Inquisitors, huh? Is this all a loop? Yes, second sister. We seek a dangerous fugitive. This is no common anarchist, but a devotee of the treasonous Jedi Order. <sighs> Failure to turn over this traitor will result in a charge of sedition. Turn yourself in. For everyone present shall face summary execution. This, this is like a really good start to a game. It's time someone came forward. I, uh, I had been working on this heap a long time. Way before the war. We refit and rebuilt ships. Best in the galaxy. Then came the Empire. <laughs> and engineers became scrappers. The workers? They just started getting worked. Prof. We all know the truth. We're just too afraid to say it. To the Empire. We're all just expendable. Yes. You are. Uh, uh, no! Yes! Yes! Look at this. A lightsaber. Fuck you, bitch! Sorry. <laughs> I don't like that she killed my friend Prawl. I found the Jedi! Well, fuck you too, bitch. Sorry. His name was Prawl. P R A U L. Hold it. Don't move. How'd you get here? Easy now. Got a stowaway. Hey, you don't need to call this in. Quiet. This is TK 8190. Time to fight. <laughs> Cool, okay. Looks good so far. I don't know if it plays well yet, but I'll let you know. Oh, if you press the button right at the right time, you will reflect it back. Cool, okay. Well, get some Jedi Outcast vibes so far. The, the blaster uh, bolts themselves, like the lasers, are a lot faster in the movies. But I like that they're slower now because my babby reflexes can uh, handle them. You know, that was the decision that someone at Respawn had to make. Do we make the blasters slower? Gotta keep moving. I chose to rest instead. That's how I prepare. That's how you prepare for death. Rest when you're dead, Stormtrooper. Something over there. Enemy! Enemy here! Jeez. Apparently decapitations were considered. 
but much like the Star Wars films, they're I'll used for key you. moments instead. So instead of just chopping everyone's limbs off at all times, uh, it's a little bit more strategically done. Okay, so you can use the force. So this is... Essentially, this is, um... Dead Space Stasis. Yeah, their aim still sucks. Wait until a mod comes out that enables dismemberment. Man, nowadays, nowadays it's mods, but back in the Jedi Outcast days, it was a code. Used to be codes included in the game already. I miss my friend Prawl. Kind of like from a coloring? Why do people talk about coloring? Oh, um. Then wrong way? Then wrong way. Where? Am I. What? Oh. You can- you can go right? Explain what you mean right, exactly. What? Oh. Well, I feel like a fucking dipshit. Looks weak. I say as I pull out a lightsaber. Okay, that's fine. Wow, they put a lot more effort into this game than I expected. Vinny, health. Uh, yes, I yes, I'm about to die. Get to the front. Stop the train. They need better lasers in the Star Wars universe! Alright, and thus ends the story of Cal. That's as far as they, um... Sorry, that's as far as they developed. Issues sprinting. You can't sprint as soon as you start running. You have to run for a second, then sprint. Then you have to get into a stride first. Here. 
I'm ready for your trick. Ah! Ooh, fuck. He shot the coupling out. Gotta get down. Ah! 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 Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Whoa! This is bad. You you bet your ass it's bad. Only way is up. I don't really love climbing. Even though I said before that I liked climbing, I didn't mind it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and retract that statement. <laughs> Someone said this is literally the opening of Uncharted 2. Your character, Nathan Drake. Wait a minute. Okay, thanks. It's a cool looking ship. It's all, like B Wing ish. We're we getting some Star Wars motifs in the music. Light Star Wars motifs. I mean, you can't totally idiot-proof your game's intro. Not when I play video games. While I'm still on this planet, your game will not be totally idiot-proof. While I draw breath. I will make a- I will make sure I find a way to die in your intro. In your tutorial, even. I like that they talk shit before getting hit. Star Destroyers. So this is five years after? So how- oh wait, how many years before this episode four is this? Whoa. Like 15-ish? Okay. Someone said, see, this is a new genre. It's slide gaming. It's, yeah. Cock injured! Now, chat, what's the name of this TIE fighter? Going, 
Tie Interceptor, correct. Well done. I know that from Rogue Squadron. I recognize that stance. Perhaps you've had some training after all. Who is your master? Padawan? Someone I killed, perhaps? What Jedi gave their life so that you might live? Darth Scrungus. You bleed like all the others. Oh god, QTEs. Like, I have to check if I'm even pressing the X button because my controllers all have different X buttons. Get on board! Button mashing is not QTEs. Alright, well, there hasn't been a whole lot of QTE, but yes. Yeah, shoot someone with a lightsaber. That's good. Captain! So who the fuck is this little goblin? Welcome aboard the trash. That's the name of the ship, the trash. Okay, shut that thing off and grab some seat. Oh, I was expecting a DeVito voice. Thanks for the help. But who are you people? My name is Seer Junda, and this is my captain, Grease Dritus. How you doing? Sounds like a disease. Yeah, this is my ship, but you better pay attention to this lady here. The ship is so, called the Mantis. Who are you? Cal. Mantis Cassius. Toboggan. <laughs> who was that back there? An Imperial Inquisitor. She's a Force user hunting Jedi survivors. And now that she knows who you are, she will not stop until she destroys you. How do you know so much? And why'd you help D's me? nuts chat? Okay. Track Imperial communications. We heard the Inquisitors were heading to Braca. Looks like he's wearing a track suit. Oh, yeah? Well, it's the bounty on Jedi these days, anyway. That's gratitude for you. Look, I get it. You've been surviving on your own for so long that it's impossible to trust anyone. And it's what's kept you alive. But this is about something bigger than just surviving. Like what? Someone said in chat that the main character looks like Denny from The Room. Order. Yo, why are her eyes so big? You too. Anybody else? Oh, we're not good enough for you? The Jedi Council? They're gone. I think she's like quarter alien. Which is a thing in the Star Wars universe, I suppose. Captain, set a course for Bagano. What's wrong with your face? In the meantime, try and relax. Go, you're safe. For now. You gotta move on and live your life. Find your destiny. Her eyes are like the double the size of the other character. It's Deborah Wilson from Mad TV. Weirdo. Wait, the actual actress? What the fuck? Okay, listen, I just googled a picture of Deborah Wilson. 
she does not look entirely like that. If they did a scan of her fucking face, they, like, increased the size of her eyes. Deborah Wilson is pretty. This person's eyes are massive. Jamie, pull that shit up. Brian Wilson? Well, this is Denny Wilson. I actually don't know what Denny's last name is from the room, but... It's a bad face scan. She looks fine in Modern Warfare. She's in Modern Warfare 2. Is Deborah Wilson from Mad TV getting roles in video games these days? That's a hell of a career shift. She was in Wolfenstein as well. Is she... Is she a gamer? Alright, what's up everybody? It's me, V-Dub. Gonna play the mandolin, the space mandolin. She was in Metal Gear Solid 4, and also Outer Worlds. My god. That song... I wrote it. Years ago. You touch an object and witness events connected to it. You feel its history. It's an echo in the force from the object. Not many Jedi have that skill. How would you know that? I was once a Jedi. But not anymore. I know you? No. But I knew your master, Jaro Tapal. He was a true guardian of the Republic. The Mandolin Alorian? Get out of here, chat. Leave. Listen. Something happened to me during the purge. I survived, but my connection to the Force is damaged. When I meditate, if I let my guard down, I lose control. And it's like I'm back in that moment when... You survived, Cal. And you're not alone. Not anymore. Damn, she gets a lot of work. We'll come up on our destination. She's in The Last Sharknado. It's about time. It's a television movie. <laughs> Gears of War 4. Final Fantasy 15. God of War Just Cause 4. Days Gone, Outer Worlds, just this year, she's been in, like, three of the biggest games of the year. Modern Warfare, Outer Worlds, Jedi Fallen this Order. This is Bagana. A Jedi I knew discovered it before the Purge. You Mental. won't find it on any maps. The Empire doesn't know this place exists? No. So, what's the plan? We hide out here? We're done hiding, Cal. Denny. See that structure over there? I believe that vault holds the key to rebuilding the Jedi Order. But it requires someone strong in the Force to pass its test. And since you're not a Jedi anymore, that's why you need me. I know you don't trust me. And I'm not really sure I trust you. But we have a common enemy. And a common cause. I'll share more of my plan after you reach the vault. But until then... There's someone here I think you should meet. May the force be with you. <clears throat> My rock with a cock you must crush. This game definitely looks nice. Guess I'm looking for a Jedi then. But if there's already one here, why does Seer need me? You know what looks not so nice? When he speaks, he gets all rubbery. Like the bottom of his jaw and his mouth gets like real rubbery and weird. Uh, but you know, other than that, the game looks pretty good.
You can get a bunch of different outfits. I want a Han Solo outfit. Like when Lando stole Han Solo's um shirts. Yeah, I'm still getting stutters, by the way. They're micro stutters, not not so too bad. To but, yeah. I just need to focus my mind. Oh, so these are the safe points. It, it's a bonfire. So here's the skill tree. Overhead slash. Press Y. Unlocks a powerful strike that is deadly against weaker enemies. It's fucking Dragon Quest again. It's, 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 yeah, it's the sphere grid from Final Fantasy X, and it's, uh... Enemies have respawned. This is the Dark Souls portion of the game. Hey, BD1. I'm Cal. Uh, yeah, I'm okay. I'm just I'm looking for someone. No, not you. I'm searching for a, a Jedi, I think. I just hold like on. to watch you guys. You know the Jedi? What do you know? Wait, hold on. Did you just slice that? Thanks. See, now no one's gonna get upset with me for making fun of the main character of this game. That's the Vault Seer mentioned. Whoever I'm supposed to find must be waiting there. Hollow map. Reach the vault. Okay, is this, uh, extended tutorial island, or...? Thanks, BD1. That try experiment with the hollow map controls. Zoom, tilt, rotate. So this, this is like a Metroid Prime type map. Um, good luck with map, it's still a tutorial. Okay, zoom, move, rotate. Rotato. Alright, good. Unexplored pathways and important landmarks. Wish I could zoom out a little more. Somehow. Gotta figure out a way to put my lightsaber away for when, uh... For when I'm done using it. Left on the D-pad. <laughs> now this you is ziplining! Wait, you didn't? Careful over there. That doesn't look safe. Just like back at the scrapyard. God, I had a mini heart attack just now. Hold on, B1. I'm coming. Oh god. That, you know, 
reasonably speaking, that lightsaber should have done a lot more damage to the table. Vinny, what's your favorite force power? Force yeet. Whoever lived here used this room for storage. They kept food and supplies. Oh, and did you use the force power to determine that, mate? I used force eyesight. Busted, but this should help you get moving for now. Yeah, it kind of looks like okay. Rob a little bit. Try that. Definitely like a, a more mobile Rob the Robot. The vault. It's yeah, cute though. Headed to. They'll probably be selling yeah. millions of them. Well, first, we gotta figure out a way out of this place. Oh, what the hell is this lightsaber customization? I think I want green. Premium content? Excuse me, premium content? Fuck you, EA. Wait, I have it already? It's a pre-order bonus. Oh. Wait, so is there a way to actually buy this stuff, or did I just overreact? You overreact, so there's no way to actually... It's a special edition. So is there a store to buy, like, colors for your lightsaber, or is that uh, not a thing, in fact? Someone wrote, not yet. Okay, no, that's not in the game, apparently. It's just, you see how reactionary I become with EA? Uh, BD, that's a little small for me. I've Don't always worry. liked Luke's green I'll lightsaber. Tight fit, but this should work. Also, if anyone else is playing this, let me know if it, if it also stutters a little bit for you. Just so I can, um, isolate the problem a little bit. I'm seeing a mix of answers. I've seen some other streamers that stutter. Okay. Because you know what would be really, like, really cool? If I upgraded my computer, got a new CPU motherboard, went through all the hassle, which is fine, eventually I'm going to have to. And then I still get stutters. Look like they lead somewhere. 
Hope they're sturdy. Would you do dual PC, or is that not a thing for you? I'm not really sure what that means. Like, people said build a streaming computer and offload all the streaming there. I don't really know... I mean, I'm stupid, you know that. If you watch my streams, you know I'm not a smart person. So, I don't really know what that means fully. Um, I don't have room. I really am working with very limited space. Especially in my immediate area. I like his lights. That's better. Thanks, little droid. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, uh. Okay. <laughs> Here, hop on board. So, how'd you get here? I don't remember. It's not like a Jedi no, 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 healing flask, it's a little droid that shoots healing at you. With that. One PC is dedicated to capture, only throw a piece of capture card with the other computer plays and outputs the game, save CPU resources. Uh... It sounds... Uh, okay. It sounds a little complicated for me, but I... Okay. I'll look into it. Oh, that was, uh, one of them shortcuts. Hey, a chest. Think the Jedi would mind if we grab supplies? Where are you going? Oh, something was in there. Someone just said ukulele too. Holy shit. <laughs> Vinny, it is- is it really worth it? Performance is only a problem for a few games that you stream. That's where we need to go. That's true. Feel it. If I just got like a really dope fucking motherboard and CPU, I wouldn't have any of these problems because I only stream a few graphically intensive games. That's a good point. Most of the year I'm playing things like The Legend of Bumbo or Zelda 2 randomized. So. Mapped everywhere we've been. Eventually, you'll want to bump it up to 1080p, my man. I've been thinking about that, yeah. I have been thinking about that. I want to get better stream quality. I I'm just lazy. We gotta find another way. Like, I'm so focused on making music lately that I haven't had the desire to really do any really, like, get down and dirty into the, the bits and bolts of computer stuff. So. Someone just said chat is an afterthought, y'all. I was, um, actually several times told to just stream without a chat. Just play the game, no chat. And I immediately thought that would be boring as fuck. Force meter is empty. Damage enemies to regain force meter. Oh, I see. Bog rat. Will burrow into the ground as a deception before attacking. Easy to parry, avoid being surrounded. Common pest, the bog rat is a simple predator that feeds off of small creatures like boglings. Their poor eyesight makes them easy prey to their natural enemy, the ag agdo. 
um, often attacking in packs. They will surround their foes in numbers, appearing to retreat. They are known to burrow below ground as a sly defense before springing to attack, surprising their prey. Their hardened skin makes them somewhat resistant to lightsaber attacks. Oh, okay. What is it? Poncho material? You can change your poncho. That looks terrible. I can customize BD-8. BD-1, sorry, BD-1, not BD-8. Don't believe I've gotten a skill point since then. Nope. I did that, and I didn't even rest. Well, then enemies respawn. But that's fine. Someone said this game looks really stiff, not gonna lie. The animations are definitely stiff. Well, not even really stiff, just a little weird. Um, but it feels pretty good. This tool was used by someone eager to reach the vault. Running in circles is guaranteed hilarity. Oh my god, because there's procedural animations happening, and it's... It's trying so hard! <laughs> procedural animations, everybody! Very nice. There was like a prompt that I could have like... Oh man, that would have been cool. damn button. I don't even know what the fuck just happened with the camera there, but alright. Ogdo. Sever the tongue with a combination of the force and lightsaber, lightsaber attacks. Highly dangerous. Lightsaber resistant. You can block unless they turn red. Okay, I have to get used to that. Vinny, are you excited for the next Star Wars installment later this year? Excited might be the wrong word. I'm looking forward to seeing what they did to try to remedy what happened with Last Jedi. I am interested in whatever kind of strange stuff that they're attempting, because JJ said that this is like a weird movie. So, 
Um, yeah, I guess let's let's you know let's see what happens. But I don't I don't know about excited. Didn't Vinny like the Last Jedi though? I was half and half on it. I said it had both the best and worst of the Star Wars series that I've seen. Um, and then I tried rewatching it after the internet got its grubby hands on me. And I had a, a lot of trouble rewatching it. To the point where I just stopped. Because it does do, like, on, on first viewing in a movie theater with a bunch of Star Wars fans, it's like, oh, the spectacle of it is nice. There's a lot of cool action, there's a lot of really interesting, you know, like, um, ships and fight and stuff. And then you, you think about it a little bit, and it's like, oh, wait a minute. A lot of this is not good. Hmm. Someone just said The Last Jedi is the best Star Wars. Oh, boy. It's okay to not like things, but don't be a dick about them. Uh, so I'm not gonna tell you you're wrong or right. But, I have a hard time re-watching that movie, and I don't really want to. So, I've seen it once, all the way through, and I, I think that's good enough. The Star Wars prequels were the best movies. I- I can't- that's the problem with Star Wars now. I can't tell what's bait and what's not. I- I have no idea anymore. I'm not even gonna try. Um, anyway, Cal dashes forward and attacks his target. Jump while dashing to flip over the target instead. Cal's maximum force is increased. Uh. Someone said, I like non-Jedi Star Wars stuff. I think you'd like, uh, Star Wars, uh, Mandalorian. Uh, the other thing I was gonna say was, someone said, did you finish Rebels? I liked Rebels. I enjoyed it. It had some... ...slightly weaker moments, but overall, I, I enjoyed it. And, uh... I'm not watching the news show, Resistance. I don't think I want to. Vinny, are you not doing the new Pokémon game? I will not be doing the new Pokemon game. Now, if you go back in time to previous streams where I said I will be doing the new Pokemon game, I was wrong. That guy's an asshole. That guy from back then. The fuck? Good glitch. Uh, yeah, I've, I've said it before, I'll say it one more time. You know what, I'm probably gonna have to say this more than one time, but I'll tell you now that, um, I just don't need the aggravation. That's really, uh, the point. If I ever end up playing that game, it might be just on my own. At, at some other point, 
maybe when all the games die down that I'm playing now, I finish them, I'm looking for something to play, maybe then I would consider it. But... Let's go, BD1. I, I understand also that people, um, have problems with the game. Some of, of which are understandable, some of which are not. I know that they quote-unquote lied and all that. But know this, I will never hate that game as much as people want me to hate it, and I will never love it as much as people want me to love it. And I just don't need the aggravation. Simple as that. There will be a million Vinnie Climb walls. There will be a million other streamers. Oh, I can't climb those walls. Um, that are streaming the game. There's gonna be tons of streams of it. So you're- you're not gonna miss out. You're definitely gonna find someone that's gonna stream it. Someone said I'm- I'm missing a climbable wall in here. Vinny, there is no quotes, they did lie, the models are 3DS models, don't let any fucking Pokemon fanboy tell you otherwise. You're literally just as bad. That's what I said the other day. You're just as bad. I- no one told me otherwise. No one cares. I don't care. Why are you trying to rally me up for a cause I don't care about? Not even playing the game. And already, that's the kind of shit that I know would happen. So I'm- I'm happy with my decision. It defeats the purpose of them removing the national decks. I- I understand. Why are you telling me? <laughs> I don't care! Moving out. You're right! It does! See something in there? Oh, cool. Yes, the path is difficult. It may seem impossible, but with persistence and the Force as your ally, you will overcome any obstacle. You will master any path. Now, do what you must to reach me. Is this Sir Hendrick? my position. I did it. Oh, okay. Persistence and the force is my ally. Just remembering old tricks. Did you see- did something funky just- what the fuck is that? Never mind, that wasn't fu- I was just a weird vine. The wall run looks janky. I think a lot of this game looks janky. BD1. It, it goes- it's weird because there are moments where I'm like stunned by how beautiful the game looks. And then there's a couple moments here and there where I'm like, oh, that's... strange. Think you can show me that shortcut again? Reach the vault. No, what, the, the way I was just... Oh god, this map. It, it's good because it's 3D. But I'm also confused. Hang on a minute, let me go back this way. See if there's anything here first, because I, I feel like I might have missed something, but I also like backtracking. This is going to be an infuriating playthrough, make no mistake. No. Okay. That was just to learn the wall run.
Yeah, the like the sprint animation is just extra. to figure out a way to get in there. Well, there you go. That's how you get in there. This area was used for meditation. by someone familiar with the Jedi Order. Okay. You get experience for finding these things. There's been a lot of situations where people want to play games on their own now rather than streaming or recording it to reduce the risk of pissing people off. Oh, um, between all the, the hot button games that are coming out lately. I mean... I think that's fair though. I, I think that's like a fair thing to, to let people have that. Because... There are fans of things that will take it very personal and then find a way to, like, try to really hurt you. It's real. So, I get that. It's just a shame it has to be like that over, you know, video games or creators or whatever. Someone said, people suck IRL too, why did you think the internet would be different? Oh, okay. What was in there? I don't- I don't know what- I don't know how I feel about that statement, but I- I get what you're trying to say, I think. I mean, yeah. Shit sucks. But that doesn't mean you should- it should be normal for someone to like... You know, attack you on a deep level because you don't like Pokemon. I meant to put my, uh, lightsaber away and I used a stem instead. Hang on a minute, now... Um... Just a second... Send meditation room? Is that where I'm supposed to be? Kinda wanted to get down there, but I guess maybe I can't yet. Over there. I 
Let's see what I can do in here. Oh yeah. Nope, not quite. I can't get up there. Oh, hang on, the other way. This is where I came from. Well, the wall running doesn't feel... like, fucked up to do. It just, it's really easy. So I give the game credit. Just kind of locks into it. Whoever owned this bag brought it from Coruscant. They were frustrated with the Jedi Council. Someone said, why can't game developers just bend to my will when I scream and yell about it? Except, that literally just happened with the Sonic movie. So now it's just gonna happen more. Uh, but to be fair, that Sonic creature was fucking horrendous. Film is different, sure. But, I mean, it could happen... Who's to say it wouldn't happen with a game? <laughs> to be fair, the Pokémon stuff is horrendous, too. I think that game needed another year. I think they just promised to get it out this year, and now they're forced to do so. But it's not the same thing, uh, chat, so... Man, what did people do before there was an easy way to get your... ...yelling and hollering out there? Like... What if, if Return of the Jedi was bad, how did people let George Lucas know about that? Letters? Fuck. I bet most of those went directly into the trash can. Help! Stim! Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm lost. That didn't take long. Here? Looks, looks like I have to go to the green. Well, if it's green... Yeah. Please get a clip of that. Please. And this game is released so close to Jenks giving. Okay. I don't know why I wasn't like seeing this. Need a stem. Much better. You know, I have two potential places to go. That's a really big bug. Yeah, that's how I felt <laughs> just a moment ago. Now that's gonna make for a good cut. Watching the thing jump up into the air and then cutting it directly with that's a really big bug. Vinny, don't know about Return, but for Phantom Menace, we just told our kids to bully the kid that played Anakin. So we were always cunts. Like, just as a people. As a humanity. That's cool. You're right, by the way. That dude's in a, like, um... He's not doing okay. At all. So is this just- is this just what happens when a thing gets really, really popular? Are there any things with, like, super, super popular fan bases where people aren't this awful? 
Because I've heard uh, that Mario, like the Super Mario Brothers, like they have a good fan base and they're massive. Kirby. Well, I mean, I guess some of the communities that people are mentioning, that's... maybe. I see what you mean, like, someone said the world ends with you, Final Fantasy XIV. Like, I don't know, like, how massive those audiences... I don't know, like, how big they are compared to, compared to Pokémon and Star Wars. Yeah, this game's got some glitches. Fire Emblem now? Oh yeah, the Fire Emblem stuff, yeah. What about, um... K-pop? They have a good fan base, I heard. Where they literally say, stand this particular celebrity. You know, stalker? St like, stalk a celebrity is a good thing. Is he there? Oh, it's on! I think it's just because, like, We're not finished yet. if... Okay, okay, he probably would've won. Probably. Like, if one in a thousand people... ...are really, really rotten... ...the more thousands of people you add... ...the more ones become apparent, and then become their own... ...loud kind of minority within the community, but a vocal minority at that. So, there's... 5,454 people here right now about. Where's the five and a half of you that suck? Let me know who you are now so I can get rid of you. Who's the half? Who's the half? That's okay, I suck too. I'm not perfect. I'm a, you know... I'm a trash man. We can all strive to be better. This actually kind of feels like a plot of Star Wars Rebels. Like with the Inquisitors and all that shit, in particular. But, like, the Amazing. Jedi Temples and all the weird psychedelic shit. test I left behind, and gained access to the vault and this recording, one of many encrypted logs stored in the droid. I am Master Ino Cordova. I may not know your name, but I know your purpose. The fate of the Jedi Order lies in your hands. This place, this vault, is a sacred temple, built by a vanished civilization known as the Zephyr. The model, like, gets weird for one frame before the camera uh, switches. A vision of doom. I have placed inside this vault a Jedi holocron, containing a list of the names and locations of young Force sensitives throughout the galaxy. 
Ahead, you will find the inner chamber of the vault, but also another test. I can only trust this holocron to someone who has followed my path and understands. Seek out the hidden tombs of the three sages and learn to perceive the mysteries of the Force as the Zepho once did. In this droid, you will find everything you need to succeed. What, was there another glitch? Journey. Go to the Zepho homeworld. There, you will find peace in the eye of the storm. Good luck, Jedi. Yeah, he like loses his head for a second. And may the Force be with you. I guess you were the someone I was supposed to meet. You know, I've been alone for a while now. Without any purpose, just hiding. There's no way to live. Not for a Jedi. Or a droid. See what was right. Maybe we're done hiding. Hey, you want to meet some uh, friends of mine? During our false. Cool. Okay. But you know, I just want to say. Denny. Who are we gonna see? Well, we'll see. Denny, don't plan too much. It may not come out right. All right. She's beautiful. She looks great in her red dress. Why did you do this? You know better, right? I'm Why? I'm sorry. You know better, Denny. You almost got killed. I'm sorry. It won't happen again. I promise. Denny, you know that Johnny's like your father. And we're your friends. We're going to help you. Let's go home. I'm always going to see Denny in this dude's face now. I can't help it. Funny because Cal plays Joker in Gotham. Is it based on a face scan of his, too? Did they, like, fuck up the face scans? I think I found what you wanted me to see. Sounds like you did. We'll be waiting. Woohoo! I feel like this is a game that could have used another six months. I'm not a developer, so I'm just doing some backseat development here. No. Did you notice a little T-pose? Now it feels like you are looking for small mistakes intentionally. That's the idea! <laughs> for the amount I shit on Death Stranding, the least I can do is give this the same treatment.
yeah! Stim, now! Oh my god, dude! Stim! Fucking hard. Okay, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. That's a double bite. This is not a mash the button and win game. This is a uh, learn patterns game, so I have to adjust to that. Someone said, I feel really bad for the people who have to work overtime in bad conditions to make games, because this game could be really refined, or of great quality. Well, I mean, I feel like this game is very, very close to being super polished. There's a massive fish in the distance there, by the way. I mean, this game definitely does show me some things that makes me remember why I love Star Wars in the first place. So yeah, I like it so far. I, I'd say that this has been a much more positive than negative experience, but it's also, you know, between the, the slight stutters and some of the jank and the weird glitches, you know, there's a couple things that I could point out. But I, overall, I think I'm going to like this game. I'll check it out. Am I returning to the, uh, the Mantis toboggan? Let's see. Yeah, I gotta go back to the Mantis. Let's see. So the map isn't that difficult to navigate. I just have to figure out... I just have to figure it out a little bit better. Go that way. I wanna go that way. Shit. Could that be where I have to go? No, that's that that's the other area down there. No, if that's where I have to go. Let me look around a little bit more. What are these things? These these yellow things. So then I have to if I go that way I have to find some kind of like elevator. Unexplored paths, so then I should probably Maybe go back up there. God damn it. Now 
Oh yeah. So I missed something up there. That's very good. Um, I forgive myself. It's 3.30. But I want to at least get back to the ship before I end the stream. Vinny, are you going to play more of this in future streams? Well, I've officially given Outer Worlds two streams. I've given this one so far. I, I've given Death Stranding two. And I think that's, uh, that sounds about right. So I'll definitely stream this again. And I'm going to make the decision on which one I'd like to continue. And then after that, I'll do another one. Yeah, I don't really know. Uh, Death Stranding, I'm, I'm very likely not going to continue. I'll save you all the trouble. But you knew that already. Just won't open. Uh, there is a chance I'd do one more Death Stranding stream because I get the motorcycle in the next one, and that seems to make a pretty big difference for some people. So yeah, maybe I'll check that out, but uh, I don't know if I'm going to go beyond that. My friend, it appears the Zepho had some interest in death up here. Strange. For such a peaceful culture to have any sort of fascination with a place so dark. Mm. Foop de doo. Scanning again? I like this little droid. I like that the droid tells you what to scan and helps you out navigating and stuff. I always press the lightsaber button. It's the wrong button to press there. I've got a skill point. I'm not going to do the skill point tonight, but I have it. Well, the movement definitely feels pretty good. Like I said, the wall running is good. The climbing is good. Once you get used to the climbing, it's not too bad. I would say it, it's it's about what I expected, maybe a little better. That's kind of where I'm at right now with this game. Because when I saw it at E3, I was like, oh, it looks all right. But even then, like, it didn't really fully win me over. And now I kind of feel... See, things do disappear, but now I feel like it's better than that trailer let on. It looks like it smells worse than Grease does. Ah! Wow. Someone, um, just entered the chat and said, so is this game garbage? So I guess you just joined, and you weren't hearing my little sh spiel about how I feel about it. Uh, but that, that's, that's, you know, one way to approach a thing, is to... If you go in with that attitude, mister... You're probably not going to end up liking the game anyway. Vinny, you just need a ticker at the bottom of the screen at this point. Like, um, an emotion gauge of how I like the game. I 
can't I cannot fucking believe that. Vinny, that's how you went into Death Stranding though. No, I did not. I think people saw the V-dub thing and they automatically assumed that, that I was going in thinking the game was garbage. Did you know I read more 10 out of 10 reviews of Death Stranding than I did reviews of, of um, from people that didn't like the game? You were very negative about it, because I didn't understand what was happening, and the game was boring. So yes, I... It, it immediately lost me with jargon, and words that made no sense, and characters that were totally unlikable. But yeah, no, if you can find a quote of me saying, this game is garbage, then, uh, please, please send that my way. Binyort, don't, don't read bad comments. I kind of like the challenge, though. I feel like I kind of almost thrive a little bit on, um, on that kind of thing. I kind of can't avoid them. I mean, people will definitely find a way to get to you. So... I don't mind explaining myself a little bit. I don't mind telling people how I feel. Try one more time. Wow, I, I blocked. Okay then. I don't think I need to do this. Can't block red. I can't even get the fuck out of the way of the red. This guy is a real ass, but optional. Yeah, it seems optional. I kind of wanted to give it a shot, though. Um, because you get a good... Some stuff is down there. I want to check that stuff out, but... Yeah! Gotcha! Oh, yeah. Can you slice this? <laughs> yeah, sorry about your scomp link. But standing up to that bog rat, pretty brave. Scomp link? Come here, BD1. Oh, okay, collect two more to increase thing? maximum life. Well, I'm glad I did that. Yeah, I really get those lighting effects. Just get them, get them up there, show them off. 
Hell, I would show them off if I had lighting this good. Uh, now I have to go all the way back around. Alright, well, if I can get to the ship, I think I could save. Oh boy there. Careful. Or I'll just save here. This is fine. It's uh it's a quarter to four. Okay, not bad. I like it. Like I said, this is definitely a game that ended up um, surpassing my low expectations just because I have no faith in EA. Um, and at th this point, like, they've had the Star Wars license for years, and they've made two games, both Battlefront, and they fucked the second one's launch up tremendously. So my, my expectations were not high. But it's pretty good. Like I said, a little rough around the edges, but I'm, I'm enjoying it. Respawn did a really good job. And it looks like EA just let them do a good job. Jank, but good. Is this gonna be one of them life-changing video games? Nope. But it'll- it'll be fun. I liked, uh, when I finally figured out how to do battle against that thing. That was cool. Hopefully it gets patched, though. Maybe there's a way they can fix some of this jank? Patch it up? Again, thank you for watching, everybody. And I'm going to say this. Um, last thing about Death Stranding for tonight in, and uh, other video games. I'm going to say that I respect Kojima for making that game and for saying, you know, you have a game here about Jedi. You have Outer Worlds about, I don't know what the fuck that's about. You got Luigi, you got Pokemon. Amidst all these games, you have a director. Someone who's trying to say something. Some people seem to be receiving him and understand what he's saying. I give him credit for making something really fucking weird. And really, really deep. Even if it may not mean anything to us. Maybe it means something really deep to him. So, there's something for everyone in 2019 at the end of the year for the holiday season. You got games for people who like to complain. That's Pokemon. I know I'll get a lot of shit for that one. Uh, you got games like for people who like Star Wars. You got games for people who like Fallout. You got Luigi. You got Ring Fit if you want to work out. If you want some Falutin, you got Death Stranding. There's really something for everyone. There's a lot of really great games, and you can play whatever one makes you feel the most happy. And then complain about it later. Vinny, what's your candidate for Game of the Year this year? Uh, still Resident Evil 2, probably. Vinny, you weren't kidding when you said that they were saving the beheadings for important parts. <laughs> That's excellent. Thank you for that. Okay. Now I'm going to load up the art. And, uh, once again, thanks for joining me. I think we're going to do some more Jedi in the next couple days. Vinny, are you going to make a favorite games of this century? I saw someone's list of top games of the past 10 years, and it was very interesting. Whenever I do a list like that, I have to take into consideration that there are some games that are more important, like, culturally, 
than they are to me. So I'm going to say... I would like to make a list like that, but I have to be in the right state of mind for it. I don't know. Um, how, how would I even approach it? I'm not really sure. Well, I'll let you know. If you want me to do a top 20 games of the past 10 years or something like that, I can, I can try. Just what you liked best. Well, it'll probably be, um... Hmm. Death Stranding. Um... Hmm. <laughs> Pokemon. <laughs> no, I'll stop. Subnautica would be up there. Slay the Spire would be up there. Sorry, I'll stop. I know, I'm being a jerk. I'm being a jerk. Hmm. 